let's talk about millennials. What's the deal with millennials and pets? I heard that it's been called the fur baby boom generation. What does that mean? Yeah. So millennials have long been touted as fur baby obsessed parents. For a lot of millennials, you know, it's been a lot harder for us to acquire housing and cost of living expenses can be much higher for millennials. Yeah. Yeah. Than, it's much more approachable for me to have a dog than it is for me to have a baby. I think a lot of millennials are also, you know, right at the peak of their careers where they're very interested in propelling themselves in their work lives, which again, is not always as conducive to having a child. Mm -hmm. So I think for a lot of millennials, we kind of give all of this motherly and fatherly love that we would normally give to a baby. We give it to our pets. I know I look at Charlie as though I raised her in my womb. I love her so much. And so I think that a lot of millennials really relate to that and are just obsessed with their dogs. So millennials, it's my understanding, according uh, you all reached out to a very prominent group in the pet industry, that is the American Pet Product Association. Correct. And, and they were saying that Gen X, I mean, millennials spend more than Gen X or baby boomers, right? But we're all spending a lot of money. <laughs> Yeah. So there may have been a misunderstanding there. Millennials okay. are actually in third place. Oh, pardon me. To, okay. Yeah. According to our data. So we actually found that despite millennials being touted as the fur baby obsessed generation, okay. they are in third place on the top spending. So who's so number one and two? We found that baby boomers are the number one spenders with spending about a percent of their total income on wow. their pets every single year. And that averages about to $793 per year. In second place, we have the silent generation. For those that don't know, the silent generation are those older than baby boomers. So oh, okay. a little bit older there. And they're send spending about 0.75% of their income each year on their pets or about $356. Well, there's a lot of folks now I've noticed in like assisted living, senior centers, all this, they're being more welcoming for the person to bring a dog or a cat or a couple yeah. pets to be with them in, in this kind of housing, right? Absolutely. I think it's really important for especially these senior citizens to have that companionship and have that sense of normalcy in their life if they are moving into a community that might be new, scary, and to have their pet there with them to make yes. it really feel like home is such an important thing. So I'm so glad to see that more communities are doing that for their senior citizens. Yeah, I want to give a shout out. I have a friend that's a, a decade older than me. And she got to go to a beautiful senior adult living where it's she has her own apartment and everything. And she got to bring her cool dog, Benny, and her cool cat, Miha, with her. And she said it's made such a difference. She's met other people. They can take walks everywhere. It's, it's really nice. So that's by generation. All right, yeah. let's go into gender. Chicks sure. or dudes? Who's opening their wallet more for their pets? It by far and wide, the women are spending the most money <laughs> on their pets. Okay. In fact, they're spending more than double what men are spending on pets. So women are spending on average $647 per year on their pets okay. versus men that are only spending about 282 bucks. Come so, on, dudes, cough it up. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> they might get sent to the dog house if they, if they don't step it up. <laughs> so do you have any idea why is why women might almost outspend men almost it's more than two to one it's it's almost three yeah. times so we did ask our expert that I mentioned earlier the same question, and they found that women, just being a little bit more maternal in okay. our personalities, we're more likely to see our pets as our fur babies, right? And we want to spoil them and love them just like we would our children. Whereas men, while they might really, really love their pets, they do see them as more of a companion and less than or and not so much of a child. So that was one thing that he called out. And another thing that he mentioned was, again, those social media trends. Women tend to be a little bit more active on social okay. media. They like to shop online a little bit more. <laughs> and so all of those things can definitely contribute to women wanting to spend more on their pets than dog dads do. 
So maybe if you're a cat or a dog and you're with a, a chick, a woman, you might have more than one collar, more than one leash, more than one jacket. But with if you're living with a man, they might just say, just this is your one and only leash. This is your one and only collar. It's okay. Totally. I mean, personally, Charlie has five different leash sets to <laughs> match all of my different outfits. But, you know, I think it's just like how I want multiple pairs of shoes to go with all my outfits. So yes. I think that Charlie needs the same where I think many men out there might be comfortable with just one or two or three pairs of shoes and <laughs> it gets the job done for them. So they don't see as much of a need for these extra cutesy fun items that maybe women get more of a kick out of. And another element I wanted you to dive in on is by where we live, geographics. Yeah. So coast to coast, you know, we are a very diverse country, 50 states. You're in Boise, Idaho. I'm talking to you from Dallas, Texas. So if we, you're based on your survey results, which region and why in the country seems to be spending the most on pets? So interestingly, last year, the highest spenders were in the West really? and in the Northeast. But this year, we've actually seen a shift in those trends where we've seen the Midwest kind of grow to be the top place that people are spending on pets. Wow. And in actuality, this makes complete and total sense because okay. inflation has really been hitting a lot of American households really hard this year. And in the Midwest... They have much more affordable housing, much lower cost of living. So they're going to have more in their budget to dedicate towards their pets. Whereas places in the West and places in the Northeast typically have higher cost of living and they're spending more of their household budget on groceries, housing, transportation. So that's kind of eating up the funds that they're able to spend on their pets. However, you know, Market Watch, we've also talked with lots of experts who believe that inflation should be cooling this year. So no matter where you live in the country, we should hopefully be able to buy our dogs a few more <laughs> treats and toys this year. And you did take a little look at us, the United States versus the UK. What what, what did, did you find? Yeah, so there wasn't a whole lot of major differences there. But one thing that we did find, let me find it. Where did they go? Okay, here they are. So in the UK, they're spending much more on pet food each really? year than we are in the States. That's surprising. Um, That's yeah. surprising. Yeah. So about $150 more per year, which definitely adds up. In the U.S., though, we are spending more on toys and treats as well as annual boarding costs. So those things tend to be just a little bit more expensive here in the States or just, you know, we want to spoil them a little bit more with extra toys and treats. Well, I'm, I'm really glad you could be on our show. We're talking with Haley Neff of Market Watch Guides. What's, what's a take-home message you want to give everybody based on this research? And I know there'll be more to come, but I really appreciate you sharing some of this. Yeah, I guess my take-home message would be that, you know, our dogs bring so much joy and happiness into our lives. And if you ever think, oh gosh, you know, I'm not able to spend as much on my pet as I would like to, you know, my budget is getting really tight. Just know that the most important thing that you can give your dog is quality time and love. So as fun as it is to buy all of these awesome toys and treats and outfits and, you know, quality dog food, taking them to the vet, all these important things. Your dog just wants to spend time with you and get those belly rubs. So again, it was so nice being on the show today, Arden. I've loved our chat. And yeah, if anyone wants to check out more of the study, you can find it on marketwatch.com slash guides in our pet insurance category. Thanks so much for making our tails wag by watching this guest interview from Arden Moore's Four-Legged Life. Four-Legged Life. Make sure to subscribe so you're up to date with all of our Four-Legged Life content. Four-Legged Life. Four-Legged Life.